Hello dear students, welcome back to another topic and this topic is uh, for class 11 and today I am going to deal with the first chapter of class 11 and uh, the chapter is about uh, the portrait of a lady and written by Kushwan Singh uh, but uh, before starting the chapter I want you people to subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon so that you will not uh, just miss any update and any video which I am going to upload so now we will uh, just see uh, first about the life of the author that is Kushwan Singh and uh, Kushwan Singh he was born in a Sikh family in Punjab and his father was a prominent builder in Delhi you will see this in the chapter as well that uh, this chapter it is uh, autobiographical in nature and uh, you will see that uh, Kushwan Singh has spent most of his childhood with his uh, with his uh, this grandmother in the village and later on they were called to the city and this is the account of uh, that life which uh, they, they, they just spent in village and afterwards spent in the uh, city again. So this person Kushwan Singh received education from three cultural uh, diff different uh, uh, cultural aspects that is he received from Delhi which has different cultural aspect Lahore or London which is having differently cultured and you will see the impact of all these cultures on the life of uh, the writer uh, the writer is has authored so many books and he is a political negotiator or we can say a diplomat and he is a well-known journalist as well and a politician and uh, one more thing which is important uh, which I want to discuss with you that uh, his experience of partition in 1947 as you know that India got independence in 1947 and uh, uh, there was an unfortunate incident at that very time that uh, this uh, great country uh, uh, it, it, it fell in two parts India and Pakistan and this there were there were different episodes which inspired uh, this uh, Kushwan Singh to write a, a book about uh, this which came uh, out in 1956 and uh, this book was entitled as uh, Train to Pakistan. So the portrait of a lady this chapter is a heartwarming pen picture of Kushwan Singh's grandmother who brought him up and uh, you will see that uh, there is depiction of a relationship between uh, grandmother and uh, grandson. So uh, let's go through the chapter now. First of all we will do a summary. We will see the summary of this chapter. In this very chapter grandmother uh, is being recalled as a short as a healthy uh, but a slightly bent woman by uh, the writer. Uh, he he, he uh, just remember all these features and you will see that he remembers that uh, his uh, this uh, grandmother was having silver uh, colored hair which uh, which uh, uh, which was always scattered massively on the wrinkled face that means uh, she was aged and uh, this uh, uh, you can you can figure it out through these these features of old age and uh, she used to walk uh, around in the whole house with white clothes on as uh, white clothes have uh, two, two different perspectives one is that in uh, some of the cultures it is very obvious for a widow to wear white clothes or another thing which is more important is that uh, white clothes just uh, symbolize purity or serenity that's why it's the people prefer uh, to uh, to wear white clothes so uh, she kept her, her one hand on resting on her waist and the other hand was always telling beads of the rosary so uh, it, it it is very important that uh, uh, it's very important aspect which is being discussed that uh, the grandmother was a religious lady and she used to always uh, just uh, turn the beads of uh, the rosary in the praise of the God. So the writer thinks of her uh, as uh, not very pretty but constantly beautiful of uh, uh, all the time this is a very important aspect which is being discussed the thing which is being discussed over here is that little children they are not able to just figure it out that their uh, grandmother or grandparent was once a young or uh, 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 youthful uh, person but uh, 
they they consider them same and uh, they, same with case over here as a writer he uh, he never thought her, his grandmother to be pretty but he says that she was constantly beautiful and uh, all the time she looked beautiful he compares her calm face with the winter landscape uh, having that uh, brightness uh, he com- considers uh, when when winter is usually uh, bright but it is it is uh, mm, full of uh, we can say uh, this uh, uh, when there is snow it is full of white light so this kind of a white light or we can say that white uh, brightness is there on the face of the grandmother during their lengthy stay in the village grandmother woke him up from the bed in the early morning plastered his wooden slate organized his breakfast and sent him to school so this is the kind of a daily routine which they followed in the village when they this grandmother and grandson writer or we can say writer lived in the village grandmother used to woke him up early in the morning and uh, at after that uh, she used to plaster his wooden slate as it was the culture in uh, old education system that uh, students has to just write pages on wooden slates so another thing was she organized breakfast for him and later on she used to accompany him to the school and uh, while he used to take lessons in the school she used to uh, take a rest in nearby temple and read religious scriptures over there on their way back to the home she used to give stale chapatis uh, to the street dogs which uh, she usually uh, used to take from home and uh, this was a life which was uh in the village which was uh, which happened in the village uh, with uh, this kushwan singh but there came a turning point after a certain period of time a turning point was that they were called to live in the city so they went over there now the writer used to go school in the bus so she uh, does not have any idea of uh, just uh, accompanying him to the school and he studied subjects like maths uh, english physics and other other many more subjects uh, which grandmother could not understand so she will not she was not able to help him and she was not able to have that lot of interaction which used to be there in the village so his grandmother could no longer go to school with him to spend time she felt upset that there was no teaching of god and the scriptures at the city schools as usually in the village schools we found that uh, religious scriptures are given a uh, good place but uh, when we move to english mediums when we move, um, uh, move to uh, new uh, ideological schools they prefer uh, sc- these subjects uh, based on pragmatics and uh, rather than theology so th- there was there was a kind of a situation that they this uh, religious preaching was near, not there in the city schools so instead uh, they were given music lessons which was not considered uh, good by grandmother but she never said anything and the writer went to university he got a separate room now you'll see that with the passage of the time that gap is increasing so now the gap increased to next level that he was given separate room when he moved to university the common link of the relationship between the grandson and grandmother was broken now grandmother rarely talked to anyone in the house now she spent plenty of her time sitting beside her spinning wheel and reciting prayers of god as it was the manner of grandmother that she used to just turn the beads of her rosary every time in the village here she just now remained alone and she tried to spend more of her time uh, spinning wheel and reciting the prayers in the praise of god she started feeding sparrows in the afternoon now she had that uh, uh, this uh, uh, character the human character uh, which 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 uh, just forced her to take care of the animals so being an animal lover uh, she just used to feed sparrows in, in this uh, city again when the narrator left for abroad for his further studies his grandmother did not get disturbed at all so now because there was a kind of a relationship which was uh, now gone a little um, away or we can say it was not that close relationship between the two the grandmother and the uh, grandson so now as gra- this kushwan singh moved Uh, abroad uh, to london to get uh, uh, higher uh, education or we can say uh, go for um, another degree so she was not disturbed she does not felt anything rather she saw him off at the airport 
Seeing her grandmother at his old age, the writer was thinking that it might be his last meeting with his grandmother. So it is obvious whenever we see our uh, parents or grandparents who are aged, we feel as if we are not going to see them next. So the same was the thinking uh, which was going on there in the mind of uh, Kushwan Singh that he will not be able to see grandmother again. But when he came back after duration of five years, his grandmother was there to welcome him back and he saw her celebrate his return so now grandmother was there to celebrate the return of his of her loved grand, uh, beloved grandson so uh, she was there at the airport as well and the next morning after the return of his grandson she got ill now the situation changed all the doctor told that it was slight fever and who would go away very soon still she could foresee that her time to leave this world was near as she could figure it out that she she is about to leave this very world the doctor just said that it's not that uh, uh, this uh, condition which 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 prevail which we seem to be as if it's it's her life taking no it seemed to be as if there's slight fever and it will go away very soon but uh, she thought that it's the end of her life she did not want to waste her time talking to someone so what he did she began to praise the god again she went to her bed praying and telling the beats till her lips stopped moving and the rosary fell down her lifeless head now what she did she does not want to spend time talking to the people she went to her bed uh, now started praying started just turning the beats of her rosary and uh, her lips were moving up to that very time when there was a complete pause you this everybody was just watching this very thing that the rosary fell down from her hands and uh, these hands were lifeless now to grieve her death thousands of sparrows flew in and sat dispersed around her body you will see that when you love nature nature loves you back so these sparrows which as this grandmother died these sparrows came to this place and sat over there for uh, time being around her body all the sparrows flew away without making any noise when the dead body of the old lady was carried away by the uh, for the lost rites so as this body was moved out of the ho house all the sparrows went away or flew away without making any noise so this is the respect which even nature gives uh, to the person or which we can say uh, to the, to that human being who loves nature uh, without any we can say profit or without any uh, that uh, greed so now the analysis of the chapter you will see the story starts with first person narration so it is first person narration it narrated by uh, kushwan singh though there is no visible na narrator but being the part of the actual life event of kushwan singh we can figure it out that it it, we can consider it autobiograph autobiographical mode of narration so it's hard to believe for a little child about past of a person as a narrator thought his grandmother to be same as always as i was telling you through the summary as well that we always consider our grandparents as they would have been same uh, throughout their life and they would never have been youthful or uh, pretty so same is the case over here with the writer as well the story is a memory piece and after comprehension the reader realized that singh is exploring the theme of innocence the most so you will see here the theme of innocence is being presented as theme of innocence on part of uh, kushwan singh first and then theme of innocence on part of grandmother is being presented throughout this chapter through the character of grandmother singh tries to showcase the caring and sympathetic approach of grandparents or parents have towards their words so through the character now grandmother as she used to have sympathetic approach towards kushwan singh so this is the uh, the, the 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 thing which uh, uh, kushwan singh want to showcase over here uh, to the people that how caring and sympathetic our parents or grandparents are for us but what we do right now we do not take care of these people which is very very bad on our uh, part so the climax in the story starts as they move to the city where singh successfully penned down the life of people in village and that of in cities villages still have scope of preserving culture and tradition while as people in the city are vulnerable to 
change and adaption of new ideology and modernism so now the climax the the limit of uh, of uh, the action uh, just changed when they moved to the the this uh, city there was a kind of a gap in the relationship now and uh, this was penned down beautifully by uh, the writer and you will see that in villages we have that scope of preserving our culture just our tradition we still care about each other in the village but when we talk about stays they 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 are very vulnerable to just new adaptions or we can see changes that happen in modern world as they say themselves uh, uh, to be the moderns and they give away their own cultural identity a description of the author's uh, mother is deeply moving with a touch of humor she was so old that she could not be older it was difficult to believe that she once used to play games as a child and was even young so the description of grandmother beautifully by uh, this uh, this uh, uh, writer uh, it is it is depicted it, the description is very beautiful but there is a touch of humor as well as he says that that maybe she would never have been a young she would never have played like a, a child she would have always been as old she, as she is right now the author gives us a picture of human relationship in the joint family it's a factual description a realistic account of how the grandparents parents uh, give all their time attention and love to their grandchildren or children so uh, this is the account of a picture of a, a family where we, your grandparents are with you that means a giant joint family so uh, this description just gives us the beautified aspect of uh, that uh, joint family and how grandparents and parents love their children how 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 they care for them and how they uh, uh, want them to be successful in their life now the purpose of this chapter singh describes his association with his grandmother and the changes that came about in their relationship with the passage of time as it happens with uh, us uh, so uh sing is over here showing us the changes which came in the relationship of uh, him and his grandmother with the passage of time the, the time had an impact on the relationship of these two people her simplicity and beauty left an indelible imprint on the writer's mind as grandmother was simple and beautiful and she has this impact on the uh, this 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 impact on writer's mind as well that how people who are very pure at heart lead their life the writer sketches a heartwarming pen picture of grandmother who brought him up the story is a loving tribute from grandson to his grandmother the story portrays the grandson's perception of his grandmother and how their bond of love undergoes change so this story this this story is a kind of a tribute is a kind of a gift uh, from a grandson to the grandmother and this story gives us a glimpse of uh the grandson's perception about his grandmother that how they think and how their bond of love undergoes change uh from uh, very close to the far one and how it can happen with us and how it can change our life as well so the moral of the story puts a light on the need of companionship and friendship felt by our elders as it's happening in the modern world that we are abandoning our elders but it should not be the 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 act we should just be uh, full of companionship we should be the companions true companions of our elders and we should be friendly with them we should not uh, be harsh or we should not uh, be uh, uh, we can say indefinite indifferent to them and we should uh, give them equal love as they gave to us in our childhood it also shows how love and emotion is experienced not only by human beings but animals and birds as well yeah this is very important that uh, you might have seen that uh, these uh, dogs stray dogs used to wait uh, for the lady and these sparrows when she died they didn't even touch the food they just uh, just these uh, these these uh, uh, these animals these birds they just flew away they did not just touch the feet because they were in the state of mourning as well so singh's grand mother loved animals and as she fed stray dogs in the village and sparrows in the street to show how pure and noble human she was even sparrows went into mourning and crowded around dead body to show their sense of loss animals respond sadly and happily as humans do to sad and happy situations so as i was saying that even sparrows they 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 just 
uh, remained over there till their the body was taken away and they had the sense of loss as well so animals as humans respond to sad and happy moments same is the case with animals as well they do the same thing so significance uh, this this uh, of uh, the themes there are few themes which are being described by uh, this uh, kushman singh the theme of innocence as we discussed it friendship between two generations that is grand mother and grandson so love towards each other connection of emotions kindness towards animals or we can selflessness uh, as a grandmother used uh, was having that selfless approach and bringing up respect as grand grandson had respect kushwant singh had respect for his uh, this grandmother and acceptance as grandmother accepted uh, the 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 change in uh, relationship and uh, because acceptance what happens acceptance sometimes uh, does not hurt you because if you will not accept change in your life you will get hurt with the relationships so this is the graphical presentation of the portrait of a lady uh, uh sorry happened to be daddy over there is portrait of a lady by kushwan singh uh, you will see that the portrait of a lady written by kushwan singh is that grandmother is uh, she could not uh, walk straight she always prayed she had a wrinkled face she is little fat and slightly bent there are three phases of friendship between grandmother and the narrator phase first which is there in the village they are close friends of each other they wake up in the morning this he is being made ready for the school school was attached to a temple prayed in course and uh, spent time in uh, in their in reading books this grandmother now phase 2 starts as they went into the city narrated start going to the english medium uh, sh both shared same room grandmother hated english words and signs there was no teaching of god in english schools music was for uh, prostitutes and paupers as it was the thinking of grand mother so now phase 3 starts the bond of friendship snapped as uh, this uh, bond the close bond was just broken down a bond of friendship broken narrator began to study in a university a separate room was given to him so this grandmother accepts his loneliness quietly she does not just go against it she relaxed only in afternoon she did spinning and reciting prayers she sat in the veranda and fed sparrows so this was the kind of a thing through which she uh, just accepted her loneliness now narrator goes abroad for higher studies and grandmother did not show any emotion for that as she she does not used to show no emotions and she only kissed his forehead silently and at the end what happens over there this morning on the basis of sparrows they did not chirp they sat near the dead body they flew away quietly and after 5 years as it was after 5 years this narrator came back to him as if this uh, grand uh, this lady she was waiting for him only she did not pray on that very day she collected all the women and they sang uh, songs of uh, homecoming warriors and she declared her end when she thought when doctor said that no it's a mild fever but she declared it and she was very peaceful in her bed her death was peaceful her end was peaceful this was all in this uh, chapter so what i want you people to you just need to subscribe to my channel first of all you need to like this video you need to share this video video with your friends so that uh, they'll take benefit as well you need to subscribe to my uh, channel and do one more thing that just pay attention towards all these topics that was that was all uh, take care